welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Happy Vlogmas Day 4. So today I am going to be putting up the Christmas tree in my office and I'm not sure what else we're going to get up to today but that's the main goal. So as you may be able to tell the bookshelf is gone. So we temporarily moved it into my mom's bedroom and then after Christmas we take it down we'll bring it back in here but I, like I said in a couple videos ago maybe, or maybe last video, have this other Christmas tree that's in between the size of that small one and the big one in our living room. It's actually quite big, but I bought that when it was on clearance after my first year of university, so I got it for like 60% off, and I bought it for when I moved into my apartment in second year and I used it in second, third, and then in fourth year when the pandemic hit, I set it up in the office. So now because we have two desks in here, that's why we had to move the bookshelf, but I am going to start decorating and also I'm gonna show you some hacks for if you have like a sparse Christmas tree or if you if you have a cheaper Christmas tree with lots of like holes in it, how to make it look extra full. favorite part filling it because as you can see I don't know if you can see there's like a whole bunch of big spaces there's a lot of just big spaces like I said so I have a solution for that the first thing I like to do is I have this extra it's like a garland and I got this one at Walmart and you can fluff it out and I like to put that around the bottom half to make it look fuller and then also this year I have some more just regular garland I've never put this garland in there but we're gonna try and see if it works and then after that what I like to do closer to the top is add these picks so I have these silver ones, these smaller ones. See, just different ones like that, all in kind of the same color scheme. This tree is like more silver and reds. So I just stick those in there and it looks a lot fuller. So let's get to that. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this. In Christmas times. So the other thing I wanted to mention is it doesn't exactly have to match your tree color. I know that one garland is a bit lighter than the actual tree, but it'll all mesh together. And then I did end up using that garland in this area. And from this far away, you can't even really tell it's in there, but that's just is starting to bulk it up but the picks are what really takes the cake so we're gonna do that now big so those will also fill some of the smaller holes as well but those 
little things are to cover those big holes. So let's get decorating with these. It will always be Christmas in my heart, but this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. the tree oh that was a lot of work I am both hot and tired but I will show you the finished product so it is substantially less less holy than what it was before so like I said I put that garland in there and then that other garland up here so the one from Walmart down here and the one from the dollar store up here and then I put in a whole bunch of these picks that I also got at Walmart. A really good time to buy that stuff is after Christmas or sometimes Black Friday. But by the time you're watching this, Black Friday will be over. But that's what I did. I got it on Boxing Day. But anyways, I also have all of these ornaments that came in a pack from Walmart. And then I was showing you this ornament. I got the first year I lived in my apartment and that little cardinal is from the dollar store. This little bench, I think it's from Dollarama. This one's from Dollar Tree, but majority of them are Walmart. But yeah, I think it looks very, very nice. And then also the tree skirt is from Walmart as well. They were having a sale last year and that was before Christmas, and it was actually a really good deal. So check out Walmart for tree skirts too. So I took a rest, but now I want to go to the health food store because they were having a Black Friday sale. And well, as I'm filming this, it's actually Saturday after Black Friday, but here they continue the Black Friday sales until Monday, I believe. I wanted to go get out of the house. If it's too busy, I won't go in but at least I will get out of the house and go for a ride but I thought I'd put on my wig and my hat so let's go oh my goodness I am sweating from shopping and I tried to take some clips but it was really hard to do that. I'm like one of those shoppers that I'm in and I have a mission and I get all my stuff and, and go. I probably won't be able to do a huge haul because a lot of the stuff that I got is actually some Christmas presents. and the people that they're for are watching this. So I'll show you the things that I did get. Healthy Planet, which is the health food store that I went to, they were having this whole Black Friday sale, but this, even the stuff that wasn't on sale, you got double the points, which is great. Love that. So got lots of points, which is good. And what else was I going to say? There's a guy sitting in his car across from me. And it's a little awkward, but you know what? I don't really care. Oh, I was sweating in there. The wig probably wasn't really helping, but you know what? I wanted to wear my wig today, and I wanted to have a blonde moment. And, you know, 
My ideal location of meeting my future husband is either Healthy Planet or the grocery store. That didn't happen today, but maybe one day. Yeah, I went to Healthy Planet and then I just went to Dollarama again. So I'll show you some of the stuff that I got from Healthy Planet. So I wanted to try some new protein powders because I'm out of the one that I was using and it was very overpowering. So I got this one, vanilla, so this is the Vega protein, and then I got chocolate, and I got the small bag just in case I don't like it. Protein powder is very expensive, but I try to just use it in like smoothies and my waffles and all that kind of stuff. You can put it in oats. Breakfast sometimes is hard for me to get in protein, so that's where I use it. Some milk thistle tea. My naturopathic doctor actually recommended this for me. It's supposed to help the liver do its job, basically, because <laughs> um, the liver is like de is what detoxifies your body, and I guess milk thistle helps the liver function as it should, I guess. So, she wanted me to try this, so we'll see how that goes. I got two. Now, they. I looked on the website and these were on sale. And they actually ended up being on sale, but they didn't have a sign, so I didn't want to pick up too many in case they weren't on sale. So, I'm going to tell my mom about them and maybe I'll get some for Christmas. Who knows? So, I like the Vega protein bars. So, this one's probably my favorite the salted caramel. And then. This one, but yeah, that's what I can show you. Um, I like eating those protein bars, like I've said. I can take them to Toronto, take them to chemo. I'm gonna head home. I don't think there's anything from the dollar store that I can show you. It's mainly, mostly, because we do like stockings and stuff. There's a couple things I needed to get. But yeah, I'm gonna drive home and... I'm feeling pretty tired, but I wanted to push myself and get out because I need some independence and I haven't driven anywhere. Drove, driven, drove, whichever. Anywhere for a couple months now, so I just wanted to get out and go somewhere. And it actually wasn't too busy in Healthy Planet. I was surprised because it is a Saturday. I'm gonna drive home now. I'm gonna listen to some Taylor Swift on the way home but let's go so i'm home now i am very tired so i'm gonna relax probably the rest of the night i'm gonna finish editing my video that's going up tomorrow but i do think i pushed my and i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but i do listen to my body and I know the difference between the kinds of fatigue I feel, so the chemo fatigue is just like an all over body fatigue, whereas with my myasthenia gravis, which is the autoimmune disease that I have, it's usually my legs that I feel the weakness. I feel a little wobbly, so today my legs were pretty weak and my MG is getting a little worse, which hopefully I can see the hematologist soon. Because, like I said in the last video, my neurologist is holding off on my IVIGs, my subcutaneous IVIGs, which, which is part of my treatment for my myasthenia gravis that I administer myself. But because of my high bilirubin and everything, he's put them on hold. So anyways, what I was saying is I pushed myself because I knew that I needed to get out of the house and it was my first time driving in a couple of months which I was a little nervous for but it ended up being perfectly okay and I wouldn't have gone out if I didn't feel like I could even drive like I, I was safe and I could drive and when I got there I just took my time in the store nobody was rushing me and when I came out of Healthy Planet I went and sat in the car rested a little bit and then I went to the next store so I feel really good about being on an errand myself because like I said I haven't been able to drive myself anywhere so I haven't been able to do solo errands so I'm gaining a little bit of independence back which is great. I'm gonna finish editing the video that goes up tomorrow. I'm gonna have a little snack and then in a little bit I'm going to get dinner ready. I'm gonna have 
some of those leftover appetizers that we had just to eat them up. And I think I have to make one other thing because there won't be enough for dinner. But I'll probably show you that when I get to it. Not Santa's real? You don't believe in Santa Claus, do you? No. <laughs> do I wish Santa was real? I mean, yeah. Santa's not real, Winston. So I had dinner and I watched some New Girl and then I had a shower. That's why I got my head towel on. But I just wanted to come on here and end the video. I have a pretty active day for me today, so I don't know how I'll feel tomorrow. But for the rest of the night, I'm just going to relax. But if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video.